Greetings, denizens of Dogcraftia. This is Ivan Dogovich bringing you the Dogcraft. So, last episode we had the discussion on what's in a name, and I asked for your votes. I have been tallying the votes, and the name is. Drum roll, please. From the comment section, we have for the Dogcraft down low, two votes. For the Dogcraft Lowdown, six votes, so two to six for that. From the poll on Dogcraft.net, we've got two votes for Dogcraft Down Low and seven votes for Dogcraft Lowdown. And finally, we have from the latest dog pod, dog pod number 10, the discussion from the members of the dog pod. We have three votes for Down Low and one vote for Lowdown. So we have a grand total of 14 for low down and 7 for down low. The name is the Dogcraft Lowdown. Thank you so much everybody for your engagement, for making the effort to make this a worthwhile conversation. And really, I, I appreciate all the thoughts and uh, the humorous injects and the comments. Uh, thank you, Bianco. And um, I just... Uh, I uh, wanted to give a big shout out and thanks to all my viewers out there. Getting into today's episode, I want to cover a few things. One being recent news. We're also going to cover a bit of the Harley games. We're going to talk about two new features um, in the Dogcraft lowdowns. And finally, we're going to finish up with the thread of the week. Getting off to the recent news, wanted to cover Comic Con briefly. Uh, Ren put out a special on his um, a special montage from Comic-Con. It's excellent, uh, well done, a, a lot of fun and humorous. Uh, some great classic lines by Harley in the, in the video, as well as there's um, uh, some great uh, injects of Minecraft overlay into real life, which is just awesome. Just wanted to point out that Mud Dog at Comic-Con allowed Miss Harley to paint his nails a sparkly blue. This nail paint was sent by Lil Wolfie earlier in the year with the agreement that Mud Dog and Razor, if they went to Comic Con, would get their nails painted. Um, Mud Dog uh, did agree with that and went along with that, and you'll see the, the lovely job that's uh, presented here before you. But in honor of this occasion and Mud Dog's uh, sportsmanship, we wanted to just update his avatar. So you'll notice that Strife has done the right thing and made sure that Mud Dog's avatar is up to date. Okay, another great, uh, exciting thing that's going on is the Dog Pod is back. Dog Pod number 10 was released last weekend. Dog Pod 10 featured the fine individuals of Burgo, Little Wolfie, Harley, and Kenster. Uh, great chance to see the Dog Pod come back out. Uh, the the worst thing about that whole dog pod was I was unable to get in and join the dog pod due to some technical difficulties, which I did finally iron out with Burgo the next day. Uh, so hopefully I'll be participating in the next round of that awesome podcast. Um, but uh, just it's just amazing. It's so nice to have that back, and um, I just wanna wanna give the greatest kudos out to Burgo. Thanks for for bringing it back. Uh, it's an awesome feature, and uh, we, all look, we all enjoy it. Moving on, I want to also mention that the Cyber Dog Nation newsletter number 20 is out, and a huge congratulations and thank you goes out to Iron Boundred. Iron Boundred has really taken up the, the cause for the Cyber Dog Nation newsletter. Um, my bandwidth has been low enough that I've not really been able to push it forward. I've been keeping up the Ren Dog Digests, but beyond that, I've not had the the energy to, to get the newsletter together and put it out. But Iron Boundary has been doing that and stepped up and taken over really the chief editor role. Um, and I just want to give them a huge kudos and thanks. Uh, anybody on dogcraft.net, if you are listening to this, go and spam Iron Boundary some karma because that dude deserves it. And moving right on to our last topic of the news bulletin, Ren Dog has upgraded to 1.7. Latest Minecraft episodes 1.7. One of the really cool features is the much greater render distances. You can see so much more uh, farther. You don't have the uh, you know the fog view that, that cuts things down. But 
what I want to bring out more specifically is Ren has asked for feedback for what to do with Rentopia. 1.7 chunks are going to be um, few and far between, hard to come by in order to see some of the new stuff. And he's asked for a question. Should he just keep the current uh, Rentopia and just explore farther and farther afield, go further and further in the nether, etc., to get to the new chunks? Or should he start all over from scratch? Of course, I think that there would be thousands of people that would be quite disappointed and quite um, upset to see something like that happen. Uh, but another option which is really exciting is to actually do some editing and maybe start up a 1.7 world and then use MC Edit and pull the mole hole intact out of that world and put it into his new world so that when the mole hole is set down all of what's in what's already built in Rentopia would be sitting adjacent to new 1.7 chunks and then Ren would be able to explore and to bring in the new 1.7 features. So there's a poll on dogcraft.net that you can vote on. Um, if you haven't voted in his comments, uh, the comments on the YouTube video uh, I think are pretty important. However, they're a little bit hard to wade through. So there's a poll on dogcraft.net right now where there's a number of people who voted and given some great explanations, and I'll have that link up. So uh, the link for the dogcraft will be down in the description below. So please come check that out and uh, vote. Let's give Ren some feedback for this. I think it's a really exciting time. Moving on, uh, covering from last week, we talked about the CyberDog server games. And I just want to mention that the newest CyberDog server, server games are coming up on Sunday, and uh, it's going to be extremely exciting. Harley is uh, is doing this games. She has um, a full roster right now, but if you want to be on standby, you might you you might uh, contact her. But it will be uh, 16 players making life or death decisions. You must choose wisely. It will be an eliminate elimination. So there will be only one winner. So that's an exciting thing. Uh, it's, an, it's an honor of Halloween. I've taken a peek and it looks really cool. Just to say, you don't want to miss this. And if you actually do miss the games, can't participate, be sure that there'll be some awesome videos coming out. And I will have a playlist of those on my, on my channel of the Halloween games as they are produced by the different members. So um, check those out. They're amazing. I'll also have links up right here for the previous CyberDog uh, server games. Those are some great ones you don't want to miss. And just for, um, for information's sake, it might be worth taking a look at the reader board. The winners from each of the four previous games. Number one, the Harley Hoedown. The winner is Burgo. Number two, the Harley Scavenger Hunt was Strife. Number three, the Treasure Hunt uh, put on by Mud Dog was Strife. And number four, the Golem Dig Down was Burgo. So right now, the uh, reader boards are tied with two wins apiece for Burgo and Strife. So it'll be good. It'll be exciting to see what happens as we move forward. Alright, I am really excited about this next feature. I am introducing to you this week a new feature called the Dogcraft Treasure Hunt. And what I'm going to be doing is each episode I'll give you a clue and you the viewers can search Dogcraft for the answer. If you send me the, the right answer, I'll shout you out on the next episode. Send me a PM or you can send me a, a YouTube a personal message. But um, don't put your answer in the comments because then everybody else will get the answer, right? So, um, this week's treasure hunt. Drum roll. Who put our identities in motion on dogcraft.net? Who put our identities in motion on dogcraft.net? Provide me the answer with that. It's a slight riddle there. And I'll, uh, I'll shout you out in the next week. So, <laughs> thank you for that. And the second new feature in the Dogcraft Lowdown is the Dogcraft Hidden Gems. So this actually will tie into the, the Dogcraft Treasure Hunt. And um, we'll discuss um, the treasure from last week in the Hidden Gems section. So next week we'll be talking about the, the, uh, the identities in motion as a, as, a, as a hidden gem. Last week I did a, a best kept secrets feature about Strife. 
So this week's hidden gem is Fallen Stargazer and his Diablo 3 playthrough. I gotta tell you, he just started this up. And Fallen Stargazer is one of the um, longtime members of Dogcraft.net, a VIP and a our newest moderator on Dogcraft.net. But Fallen Stargazer has an amazing ability to do imitations. Um, I gotta say, I've seen some of his stuff before. I haven't watched everything that he's done. But um, when I put out the Ode to the Brotherhood, he asked if he could do a, uh, uh, a read of it. And he did an awesome job. He did it all in accent and character. Uh, and it sounds just so epic. Um, I, I gotta highly recommend that. I have his link up right now for, for his version of Ode to the Brotherhood. But um, I want to tell you, in his new Diablo 3 playthrough, he has a witch doctor character named Rafiki, and he does a Jamaican accent throughout the playthrough. There's two episodes out. I have thoroughly enjoyed them, and uh, his lines are hilarious. For example, he says one time, Holy crap, scared the afterlife out of me when something happens to his character. Oh my Holy god. Holy crap. Scared the afterlife out of me. I just have laughed so many times out loud. It is amazing. You have to go check out uh, Fallen Stargazer's Diablo 3 uh, episodes. I will put those up. I'll have links to his uh, Ode to the Brotherhood. But check out Fallen Stargazer. This guy deserves more subs. He deserves uh, a lot more attention. And he's going to be a little bit peeved that I've given this much uh, attention to him. But he's just going to have to suck it up because this is good stuff. Dog Craft's hidden gem of the week is Fallen Stargazer. Thank you, Fallen. This week, I'm going to wrap up with the thread of the week. The thread of the week this week is the VIP thread. What's a VIP? That's a great question. On dogcraft.net, there's a link right at the top that says become a VIP. And what's it all about? Well, VIP is really just a way to, if you want to help out Rendog, if you want to help out dogcraft.net, you can donate to the, the website. It's a really cool thing. I, I was I wanted to do it for a long time and finally had the opportunity and I just felt so good to be able to do this. You know, Ren Dog's working two two jobs right now, uh, as well as trying to get his own video game out, as well as putting out videos for us on YouTube and just a small way to give back. Uh, monthly subscriptions are available. You can do three month subscriptions. You can do one year subscriptions. And um, I highly recommend becoming a VIP. Um, beyond that, there is also a cool feature in Dogcraft forums. If you are a VIP, you have access to a whole new section of the forums. It's called the VIP Lounge. And in the VIP Lounge, there is two forums right now called VIP Chat and VIP Trade. And I have a VIP Member Club thread in the VIP Chat. And in that thread, I've got a list of all the awesome VIPs. I'll have this up on the screen right now. You can see each and every one of those amazing people. And um, I've also got just an opportunity for the VIPs to just share a little a uh, little information about why they wanted to become a VIP and why it was important for them and why they uh, think others should do it. So that's the thread of the week or feature of the week on uh, dogcraft.net is the VIP section and the VIP club. So just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to all our awesome VIPs. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to the Dogcraft team and especially Rendog. So a huge thank you and kudos to all of you. All right, guys, this has been an exciting episode so far of the Dogcraft Lowdown. I shudder to think of all the time I'll spend editing this, but thank you so much for listening, and thank you for viewing. Like, subscribe, comment, check out the playlists on my channel because I keep them up to date with the latest and greatest of the Dogcraft Network, CyberDog Network, that are being produced. So thank you again. This is Ivan Dogovich saying cheers.